Estate Investing people, this is Jay Sitan again for another video this week. If you're new to this channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button below and please follow me on TikTok and also join my Facebook community, Revamp Academy. So yeah, for today's video, I just want to cover the uh, overview of workflows. You guys know that REI Reply is now changing from campaigns, triggers to actual workflows. So let's talk about how you can actually do that inside REI Reply. So what's the difference between like the workflow, the triggers, and the campaign? Because um, we all know that we're now switching from campaigns, triggers, to the workflow builder. So just to sum it up, the workflow builder is more of like the visual builder feature that allows you to combine both the trigger and the campaign type features with some added functionality inside REA Reply. So you have to understand that triggers before is basically the process of you automating stuff inside REA Reply while your campaign are basically the sequence of events that are happening in your contacts, right? So like you have to combine them both to, to make the automated sequence, correct? Inside the workflow builder, it's now a different story. It's basically combining both so you don't have to create multiple triggers separately. In the past, if you are wanting to like automate your process inside REI Reply, so I'm going to go to like automations just to show you exactly what's the difference between the triggers and the workflows. In the past, if you wanted to create like a specific trigger, so for example, I'm going to go ahead and go to triggers and then name this as, so if somebody responded, if I want to add somebody to a DNC because they responded negatively into my campaign and I wanted to automate it to make sure that I don't have to see them in my conversation, the system automatically adds them into DNC campaign or just to remove them from my campaign. Normally what I would do in the past inside triggers, what I'm going to do is just say, okay, so in REA reply, if somebody responded so you have contains phrase for example if somebody responded use the most common one so i'm just gonna say like the f word right maybe not maybe i'm gonna think about not contact me right so like that's the exact word or do not contact me like exact phrase so like if somebody responded do not contact me what i want the system to do is to make sure that the system will add a contact tag dnc into that contact i also want the system to make sure that it updates the opportunity inside my system by adding that contact into dnc stage and i also wanted to make sure that the system would automatically remove this from all campaigns to make sure that this person wouldn't receive any more text coming from me right what happens is you will have to go ahead and save this and basically activate your trigger and the thing is when when you do it in trigger and let's say come the next day there is another word you would like to add to automate it to make sure that the same actions happen you will have to go ahead and duplicate the same thing and just basically so it means that you will have to create multiple triggers when there is a specific trigger that you'd like to activate inside your crm but this time with the workflow being added into the system i like this really because it now combines the triggers and campaign inside workflows you can have one or multiple triggers to fire off the workflows or to fire off the the series of workflows or actions you would like to happen so in here you just go to workflows create a workflow and then you will have three options you, you know to create a workflow you can pick from existing campaigns or you can actually start from scratch like use a fresh clean state and ready to be customized template so what i'm going to do is just do that uh, the third option selecting a default i would say templates but for me i'm just going to start from scratch so let's say you want to do the same trigger inside workflow you do have the option to like rename that workflow right here like just for example you want to make a trigger for a dnc workflow and here all you need to do is you know do the same thing as the, the ones you're doing in trigger but this time instead of like duplicating the same trigger you can actually add multiple workflow triggers inside the one workflow so that means if customer responded the same exact words you know the same options are here plus added functionality so if they say do not contact me and then basically you save this trigger you can add the same actions like okay i want to make sure that this person will have a dnc tag so it's easier for me to categorize them. 
I also wanted to make sure that this person is added. So the same thing that you did inside your trigger, added in the DNC, tag it as loss lead. Say I also want this to be added into DND list to make sure that this will no longer be contacted. So you can enable DND for all channels to make sure that this person wouldn't be contacted in the future. So see, you notice these are the same actions set up inside your trigger earlier, but then this time, instead of like duplicating the same workflow, all you need to do is you can add the same, you know, the same trigger. And this time you can, you know, you can do if customer replied, now you just have to do DNC, you say, if they responded I'm on DNC, you can add multiple. Or if they responded, F you word, like the F word, say, F you, right? You can save. And as you can see, you can add multiple triggers. Even so, this can also, you can also add like a trigger that says, if somebody added a DNC tag on the contact, it will also do the same actions inside my workflow. So yeah, that basically simplifies the process of creating your campaign and at the same time triggers in one place. So that's this is basically just the introduction of what is a workflow and how amazing this is. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below.